me chatting around. Pankri is here today. Hi, Pankri. How's everyone? I have your box for your, you know what, of your prices. Let's see who will win your lucky draw. How was everyone? Did you miss the classes? It's been a week. You can't see. What can you see? How's everyone? Did you miss it? Breathe here today. I obviously missed them. You did. Josh, that's good. Waiting for the lucky draw. All your names are here. I'll just, I'll do it. And I'll see who wins. Okay, let me just tell you guys for next week what we're having now. Next week, we'll be having the classes on a Monday and a Wednesday. We won't have on a Tuesday anymore. So we'll have a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're new, welcome. So we'll have Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And from August, I want to ask you guys if you have your tuitions on a Sunday because we'll be having our summer classes starting in august so we won't be able to do it on a friday your creative writing classes so that's why i was thinking i'll do the creative writing classes from uh, august on a sunday if that suits you guys your birthday's in august that's good so we'll be doing the creative writing till august uh, Sorry, till July, they'll be on a Friday. And when we start August, next week would be your last, uh, not next week, next to next. You can't hear me, but I can hear myself. You can't hear. I think there's something wrong with your speaker then. Your mind is in August. So when we start in August, we will be doing... Patuna, you already got a five pound watcher. I've sent it to you. You won. I have a brother class, border class. You have a class on a Sunday. Just let me know what time of Sundays can suit you guys in August. So we'll be doing in August, we will be doing a class in August for creative writing on a Sunday. We won't have classes on a Friday in August. So just let me know. Your birthday was nine days ago. Belated happy birthday. That's good. I know somebody disliked before the class has been started. That's so unfair. Oh, I am free on Sunday, I think. Just let me know about August if you guys have some classes or something. If you don't have it, then we'll, we will plan. As I said, we'll start doing the creative writing classes on a Sunday in August. But before August, there'll be every day, every week, they'll be in, they will be on a Friday. Today, okay, is today the live thing? Yes, today we are going to have it, the creative writing. Next week also, I think so we'll have it. But in August, we'll have it on a Sunday. We'll do it on a Sunday in the evening around 4 sometime. So that every one of you can join. And I have the lucky draw for you guys to see how to do it. So should we do the lucky draw now? I want you guys to be more active so I can do the lucky draw in the end. Or you want me to do it now? Do you want me to do it now? Or you want me to do it in the end? Josh, what you didn't understand? Can you call Ishita? You want Ishita to do it? Now, please, okay? I'll call Ishita. Ishita, come. They want you to come and do the lucky draw. Come. Come. She's coming. I'm, I'm calling her. They want you to do the lucky draw. Is Ishita lucky for you guys? No. Looks like she's lucky for you all.
It's Close we have eyes. we have all the names in. Close your eyes. Uh she's told me to close my eyes. Should I close my eyes? But nobody's ready here. So why you want me to close my eyes? How do I join the live thing? What live thing? So Mathuna is the same way as you are here. They mean the other live. What the other? The children one. The children one. Okay. We'll do that one. Okay. Here is Ishita. Ishita, show me your face. Show them your face. Ishita. What? Take the look. Take it now. Okay. You come stand near me and take it. No, they you want you to it. do it. You do it. They can't see you. I can see myself now. Okay. Do it. Take it. it. They are saying hi, Ishita. Hi. Ishita, take it. Close your eyes. No, Who, me or Ishita? Who you want to close the eyes? You, you, you. She close goes. your eyes. Okay, closed. But I can oh. cheat. I can open it a little bit. Let me take my specs off. Let me take the person out who, who won last week. No, she doesn't even come now. Okay. Let me do now. it. Okay. My eyes are closed, guys. I have put a hand also. And I'm taking your lucky drop. All the new people, your names are also there. Don't worry. Ishita has put all the names in. Uh, I'm thinking, should I do it? But I need a thumbs up if they're ready. I'm not even looking. Tell them to give me thumbs up. Do a thumbs up, please. You show your face. Your face is not showing today. Do a thumbs up. And whoever done it this way, remove it, please. Thank you. Ishita, they can't see you. I can see you. Your yeah, face is me. better. You do it. Thumbs up is there. Thumbs up. You need to go up for a thumbs up. That's Ishita was doing it. Okay, let me take the name out. Do you want to read it? They're all showing thumbs up. There you go. Read the first one. Mm, nothing. There's a blank one. Ishida is playing tricks on me. It's a blank one. Let me take another one. It says two, two, three, four. Ashima, do you remember me? I am Banish. Oh, Banish, you got a different name. I remember you. I had two people coming in life who didn't speak anything. Guys, you know who they were? Yeah, it was Banish. Your favorite Banish. Do it. Okay. I got, who's that? Another blank one. No, I don't know. It's another blank one. Why, why, why did you put so blank ones here? Gaming. Who's gaming? A gaming. A gaming one. Who's that? Let me see. A gaming. But who's A gaming? Oh, it's me. Here it is. A Gaming won the first prize. First medal goes to A Gaming. So can we have your name, please? So let's choose another one now. A Gaming needs to tell me his name. I put everybody's name. So A Gaming is the first one. And the second one, Ibrahim, don't be sad. You always get so much for creative writing. Stay positive, guys. There are three. Oh, who's this one now? Hey, Musam Asmi. That person used to come, but don't know. Doesn't come now. So this person doesn't come now. So let's go for the next one. Magical Madhuna, she's saying. Another blank one. <laughs> Why did you put some blanks? No, that person already won last week. Ashmi. Ashmi. Ashmi got a medal this time, guys. Ashmi is happy. OMG. Ashmi is amazing. The second one goes to Ashmi the amazing. Yay, you're happy. Another one. That's the last one. Remember, it's three. Should I want to come and take the last one? Why? Let's see. 
Uh, Ashvi is happy. Let's see who's more. I picked two. Venus. Oh my God. Manish got it. I don't know where Manish new thing is. Manish got number three now. I don't know where Manish is. When I'll get the medal, when you'll tell me your name. Manish is lost. So when he comes. So we have A Gaming number one. Number two is Ashmi. And number three is Banish. Uh, he's annoying. He's not annoying. So that's the name. Arush. Arush, I want the people who got their names. They need to. I want you guys to email me your addresses for your medals to be posted to you guys. The ones who won. Remember, the ones who won can't win next time. So others have a chance for next week. Banish is back with his original name. So this is the address. I want you guys to send me your email address in which I want you guys to send me your addresses. So we got three winners now. So your addresses should be given to me, guys, for your medals to be posted. So let's start now. Well done. And Mathuna also got her five pound voucher. She won Amazon voucher and a certificate. She won last time. I know that's good. How do we get medals with lucky draw? And with creative writing. Lot of things happen in this group. Lot of competitions. And lot of kids win. Now. Do you like to write stories a lot? That's good. So let's start doing some work now guys. All the newcomers. There are a lot of new members here. Welcome all of them. So don't worry, we are here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So you have a lot of prizes coming up next week and you have your summer holidays coming. So we'll be doing a lot of things. So let's start sharing the screen now. And let me just write start for you guys. I was here since Facebook when you could not share the screen. Oh, I could not share the screen. Manish, that's a good thing or a bad thing. You're making fun of me. So let's get started now. I hope I can share my screen today. So let's share a screen. I know I can share my screen today. It said I can. So let me do it. Yay, I was able to share the screen now. I will try to zoom this page for you guys so you can see the spellings, what I want you guys to make. So basically, they are telling you in year five, you must have learned this. So try making some sentences from the spellings, all of you. I think you all can see the screen now and the screen has been shared. I will try to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. It's better now. Yes, it's better now. It's much better, guys. If you can see the screen properly, please give me a thumbs up. Banish, you can see it now. All of you can see the screen now. Start making sentences. There are so many nice words here. There are silent B words. And there are able words, L-E words. 
you can see the screen. That's good. So try making sentences like from bomb, limb, thumb, adore, ancient, confident. They're so nice words. The Asian bum. Oh, that's another one. Saguna has. Mathuna has already started give, making the spellings. The Asian bum was under the rock. No one saw it in the hustle and bustle in the castle. That's a good one. Joe, who was drinking caffeine without innocence, was intelligent and started to whistle, adorably linking his thumb. Naughty, naughty. Good guys, I was a knowledgeable man. Were you? Another one. Try making some words, then we'll start doing the creative writing. The little girl thought her new doll was adorably, adorably amazing. Josh has written, there was a bomb about to blast in the ancient Egyptian pyramid. Really good tuition center with an intelligent teacher, Rashima. That's a good one. Read mine. If you put yours, I will put it on. It's fine. Good guys, keep going. The most sensible man is Oscar. Is it? You are a terrible teacher. Don't be a baby. Ashmi is amazing. What's that? Don't be a baby. Joe was a confident and the ticket on the bomb on Joe was a confident and was intelligent man. The ticket on the bomb. Good guys. Try making at least four or five sentences. After that, we can move on to your creative writing. What am I supposed to do? Are you supposed to make sentences? Abhijit, there are some words. You can see the words on the screen. With the words, you need to make some sentences of your own. Like everyone is doing it. The lady was holding an adorable dog. The Asian receipt begin to whistle. Good guys, I'm just writing, I'm just copying all of yours because then you guys get upset if I don't put yours. So I'm just taking the random ones and putting them on the screen now. You are so confident. That's a good one. Just putting lots and lots of yours, all of you. Try making two, three more, then we can start. A bump pack was sticking under the parliament. Good. Keep putting your ones on a few. I'm just taking lots and lots and I'm putting in the Royal Grammar School paper was so easy yesterday. Yes, it was. Our, there was a plaster under his thumb. What? Okay, there was a plaster under his thumb. The hassle and the bustle was horrible, especially whistle the bum was on the loose. After all these life lessons with Ashima, I'm really confident about doing the 11 plus. That's good. The adorable baby sucked its thumb with an unbearable look on his cheeky face. Well done, guys. 
I'm just putting as many as I can. The Asian Egyptians built pyramids. It is so bad. I'm so bad at spellings. Don't worry. You can still improve. I can whistle really good. There was a horrible mark on the cloth and it was so noticeable that every, even the people in the hassle vessel saw it. Do you have evidence against me? That's a good one. Good guys. So all of you have done a lot and lots of a lot here. Oh, I thought there's a sentence coming up. Okay, should be uh, well done, everyone. Let's start doing the creative writing now. I'll stop sharing the screen and I will start sharing that screen after a while. Well done. Let me share another screen for you guys now. That's the creative writing one. And let's do it now. It'll take me a minute to do it. Okay, I will zoom in the page for you guys for this one. And let's see. Look at this one. This is our new image for today. How you like this picture, all of you? Do you like it or you don't like it? Sorry, I'm late. That's fine. Look at the picture, all of you. Don't worry, I will zoom it for you. Wow. Look at it. Looks like adventures going on here. OMG. <laughs> it looks creepy. I'll give you a minute to look at the picture and let's see what they're asking us to do with this picture. Have a look. What can you see in this? It looks like, it looks scary, yeah. It looks like a, from a ghost story or something. So let's see. It looks like a haunted house. Yeah, and I can see two, la two ladies or two men. What else can you, can you all describe the picture for me? Yeah, it's a ghost. I know. Well done, everyone. Vivek is doing it. A horribly quiet silence. Good. It looked like a ghost. I know. Like a ghost story people going on. Imagine you can see the birds. Can you see the birds? And I can see uh, something like a castle, an old house or a castle, something like that. The house was so dark colored. I know it looks so dark colored. It's so scary, isn't it? So this week, this is... The picture you all need to describe. So how you need to describe, let's see it. Okay. The first thing they're asking you is, this is it's, a, it's, a, it's basically a haunted house. Look at the picture. How many adjectives can you think of to describe the picture? So let's go with the first one. So the first one they want you to describe 
adjectives in this picture how many adjectives you can do it use adjectives to describe this picture that's your first one try using as many adjectives you all can do it looks like it would be shady and which you look at it your heart pounds that's good so try using as many adjectives to describe the picture so try using as many adjectives you can for describing this one is a haunted house they have told you that it's a haunted house if you have a look again they have said i'll wait for a second we are going on this one here it's a haunted house look at this picture how many adjectives can you think to describe the picture so this is the first thing we are doing we are describing the adjectives in this picture i'll put the picture back for you guys to see and think about the adjectives then we'll move on to the next one what they're asking us for the first one try using adjectives to describing the haunted house good josh anyone else describing the haunted house the two tracker treaters approached the ominous house with trembling hands while the crows caught good ashmi that's the haunted house they have given you the heading of the creative writing is the haunted house and in the haunted house we are describing this picture good it was in a duplicated state and spin the dim clouds contrasting with polished white moon that's a good one ashmi wrote so big good so this is the way how you all are describing the adjectives for describing the the picture that's a good one the earliest silence so this is the way halloween is one of the one night two people went to spooky house but you are describe you are using adjectives good so this is the way how you guys use the adjectives the second thing what they are asking you is now what do you think what do you think could be going on in the picture what is the mood of the picture what do you think might happen next have you ever seen an abandoned house what was it like so basically you need to tell me what would be happening in this picture we we did we described the picture with some adjectives the next thing you are going to write is you're going to say is or write whatever you say you're going to tell me what's happening in this picture what do you think is going to happen in this haunted house you know what normally happens in haunted houses they're type of scary i'll give you guys 2 3 minutes think about it and then tell me what do you think might happen in this one the people might get scared and run away yeah and uh, so guna said the castle was like a face the castle's mouth was big everyone was entered the windows were dark good you could describe the windows what about the moon what about i can see some birds there i can see it's really dark and why are they going in do you think they are why are they going in the haunted houses the two people we can see in the picture what do you think they are going in good the castle was like a face the castle's mouth was big that's a good one another one came two tricks or treaters were forced to enter the haunted house remember it's a haunted house everything is scary i can see that gurashmi is getting good now the innocent couple approached 
the gloomy atmosphere surrounded by crows crawling in the distance as the light ashwin that's a really good sentence sagna got another one the moon was a ball of light the wind what was happening to the wind was furiously blow and is and this when the normally when the wind goes it makes a sound so try doing that now let's see if you can think about it another one came here good the two people vanished into the gromsy and spooky atmosphere and never returned oliver is given now let's write oliver's one we got someone from facebook is given the snowman but uh, you can't have a snow moon okay not snowman snow moon as a good one i'm just putting as many as i can it never you can you don't write in the sentence me and my sister never it's my sister and i my walked into the hotel walked into our hotel but for us it was a haunted house a nightmare screaming noises came from the house that's a good one banish can you stop talking about ashmi's youtube channel and concentrate on the writing now please the innocent couple approached that's a good one the two children were so basically this is how you guys are describing the picture and so what they have asked you adjectives you did that what do you think is going on in the picture what's the mood of the picture so now the next thing you all will tell me that what do you think might happen next so you need to describe the mood of the picture so basically when you're describing the mood of something you need to say it's scary it's something like that do you think it's scary or it's what else can we say and what's going to happen there is what's going to happen they're going to go in and they are going to be as you guys said if they're going in they won't come back so this is something you guys think would happen and imagine if they are going inside this is a haunted house which has never opened which has never uh, no one has seen these two people have saw this house they just went in just to see how haunted house houses look like they are scared in the beginning you need to tell about the feelings how do they feel so you need to describe their feelings terrifying yeah that's a good one so you can say that so you need to basically when you writing a creative writing i'm seen all of your creative writing you should always try making your creative writing as creative as possible you have to imagine some things which has not happened you have to create in your creative writing like haunted ha haunted houses you never see that these days do you so you need to feel you need to think if you see a haunted house how would you feel would you be scared would you be happy and how would be your feelings to see it and you're going with your friends you have to create characters like i told you la every time i tell you when we do creative writing that you have to create a character the character could be your friend or something someone but always try making the character someone un you someone new or something not like always your friend in the characters and you're shocked to see yeah that's good you're shocked to see that i would be shocked to actually see one you'll be shocked imagine you're going on a vacation i'm just telling you example you have all gone on a vacation and in the night you just go for a walk and you see this haunted house and when you're looking from the house from far away and you can see two people going inside the house how would you feel scared but curious yeah you will be curious to know what's happening because these things the darkness swallowed souls who took wrestles 
hope so human could not smell fear that's a good one mathuna the mood is very shaky and dull that's good you're curious i've never seen a real haunted house that's what i'm saying you you need to imagine i know nobody has ever seen one but you can still imagine if it happens how would it be so you always have to tell about your feelings in this see they written here let's see what they have written so and have you ever seen an amended house how was it like so you have not seen one and you don't know imagine you are there now they are telling you you are inside the house imagine the house is haunted you are inside that how would what do you think you can smell taste hear see and feel now let's start doing your five senses try writing sentences using the haunted house about your five senses how would you think about when you saw the house let me just zoom in a little bit for you guys again so you can see the house try using your five senses now good so try using your five senses and describe the house when you are inside the house now you have imagine you have followed these two people who are going inside the house could be lay could be a man could be a lady could be a child whatever they are you you went inside the house and when you inside the house how would you feel because it's a haunted house it's been closed from ages it's never open so you're going inside yeah you will smell dust that's right so you have you're describing now inside this house inside this building basically is really scary i know it's scary you're going inside it's closed how would you describe the house then you could smell smoke and hear something someone screaming that's good scared out of my wits that's a good one oliver the unpleasant settings would give a cold welcome i could hear good you could hear horrifying shocks from inside the or could you could hear some sounds which are scary a scary sound something like that so you all have described what do you uh, hear what do you smell how do you feel now you have to tell you about the feelings also because you have to try using all your five senses when you're describing something i could see subjects uh, objects moving i could hear of good mathuna has so much of ideas always she has i hear ghost dropping and i hear which is cacking with the smell of unpleasant rotten eggs that's a good one so remember using your five senses if you have not so which one did every one of you use let me just see basically a uh, smell you all have done taste you have done hear you have done see you have done and feeling how do you feel this is something you guys didn't do so you need to all describe your feelings now try using your feelings now good vivek it smelled old and rotten so you could clearly tell it could be it has been neglected it smelled i can hear lavanya has given a one i can hear the wind lavanya can basically hear the wind i feel like i'm trapped yeah that's a good one you basically feel like you are trapped you feel like you won't be able to go out 
because everything is moving on on its own so you feel like what why did i come here imagine your parents you're gone out on vacation with your parents they told you you are not going to go out for a walk in the night it's too dark and scary here you go out for the walk you don't listen to them and you end up in this haunted house how would you feel you would feel that i could i should have listened to my parents why i did not listen to them why did i do this karma <laughs> okay the wind halt at the dust drift into the ashmi you have really good ideas if you can write it down this time i think your creative writing would be really good you could hear the wind that's a good one so basically you need to tell me everything what's happening in the story you need to tell what i feel like it i'm trapped inside the inside a room full of ghost yes you are i feel like overwhelmed by the darkness and monster inside shakti you don't write me and my sister right my sister and i walked into our hotel you feel like you're running out of the house but you're too scared you can't even move you f- move your feet because you're too scared that's a good one so basically so your challenge is your challenge is to write a short story you should write what you smell here write five of your describing words and remember to use all what they are telling you let's go back because i want you guys to describe it little more that would be something all of you would be doing for to win a medal if you want to i screwed my eyes as a good one so basically this is your story for this week the haunted house and that's a good one the aromatic scent of fear lingered in the midst of the daunting skin scene as my eyes were attract towards the that's a good one so you have to keep you need to describe it in a really nice way and you have to think that and also also write about the lights nobody wrote about the lights when you're in the haunted house imagine the light goes off it's absolutely dark so you have to also describe over the light you can see i can see the light i can see the moon nobody of you described the moon you did that's good ashmi is was crappy and no that's a good one so try describing the light you've gone inside the haunted house you see there's light there and then the light just goes off what would you do and you have really less bit uh, and the battery of your phone also goes off so you can't even see anything what's happening so you have to think about things like that uh dormen scene of fear that's it and babita that's really nice babita wrote a good one matuna always have lot of ideas you can see her ideas and all of you can have some idea how to write it down and i have put some creative writings we put the kids the uh, your friends who want creative writing every week so if you any one of you are struggling with the creative writings you you could go to the facebook group and just have a look it's really nice my heart burned against my ribs and ribs and my leg earned to go it was that's a good one can you share the winners creative writing it's in it's everything is in 11 plus alt group if you go into that group you can find their creative writings
I have put the creative writings. Mathuna's creative writings are in the group. And Mathuna does really good creative writings. And Ruhi did so well. She's only in year four. Just have a look at all of their creative writings. And all of you can have a rough idea how to write it down. So I'll, the light was in the room. That's a good one. The light was on in a room and it shut like a door, but it was the door and light shut. I was trapped. That's a good one. Ibrahim does really good creative writing. Ibrahim's write, creative writing is also in the group. You can see he won, I think so, last to last week. So his creative writing is also there. So there are a lot of creative writings in the group is there. So you can have a look there. I'll stop sharing the screen and I'll, this is the, I'll, this is the picture all of you need to describe. So this is the one you all have to describe. And I'll stop sharing the screen now. And I'll, so this is what all of you have to do. You have to write about this creative writing. And when all of you can give me, give me a deadline because I keep my deadline. I I read the legend that no one can survive in the haunted house. That's a good one. Keep your ideas to yourself now and put it down in your creative writings, all of you. And try giving the creative writing. Uh, tell me a day when all of you can give it because I keep extending the date and the day because I don't get If I tell you Monday, I won't get any. So when is the latest? All of you can give me your creative writings and remember to email your creative writings. And then we can, I can tell you who the winners are about the creative writings. Remember, this is the email address. All of you have to put your creative, you have to email your creative writings. And it's better if you type it. And it's it's okay if you can write it also, but try doing it in a PDF way. Because I have some of you who just write two, three words and just give it to me. Try at least making three paragraphs when you're writing a creative writing. As we told you last week, that your creative writing should have three paragraphs the first one should always be a beginning then it should be a middle and then should be a the email address is on the screen if you can see the email address is on the screen and the the picture of the haunted house will be posted in the facebook group for you guys to have a look It'll be there and we'll be giving medals. The one who won now next week. Let's do it on a Wednesday. If you guys want to do it on a Wednesday or Tuesday. If you do on a Tuesday, I can tell you who the winners are on a Wednesday. When we come for the Wednesday class. You're welcome. So we can choose the winners on a Wednesday class. We can choose. I can tell you the winners on a Wednesday class. And I can post the winners on a Tuesday in the evening. So remember the classes, the new time for the classes is we have, will be having on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. And from August, your creative writing class will be shifted on a Sunday at four in the evening. And if it doesn't suit you guys, please let me know so I can adjust the time accordingly, to, accordingly uh, with you guys. And I'll be posting the creative writing in the 11 plus ALT group. And don't forget to see at 8 o'clock. You got my email address. That's good. Everybody's so silent now. I can't see anyone chatting anymore. <laughs>
they also quiet now and try looking at uh, sunday at eight o'clock i have made a documentary about how i became a tutor my struggle everything it's a good documentary i know some of you will get really bored looking at that but try watching it with your parents it will be really good for you guys to watch that what happened to the youtube people all of you are so silent now what i'm not talking about their lives i can't see anyone chatting my chat is gone now then i can only see thanks for giving us ideas you're welcome i can only see facebook people chatting my chat is gone with them ishita is showing me the chat because i could not see any chat going on when is live oh, my god that's on a sunday my chat is gone i can't see the chat on youtube ishita is showing me the chat i can only see the facebook people chatting now about your life uh, about your life would be next week friday and the topic for the the next week life for the kids will be how do you feel that 11 plus entrances are delayed as you know that 11 plus entrances are delayed so how do you you guys feel if any of any one of you want to participate in that just email me with your email address can it be 7 8 o'clock 7 o'clock what about today we are not having anything today because uh, last week i told you we'll be having i don't know i did not know so basically we are looking at the fa the facebook live of your guys and the youtube live would be next week friday and the topic as i told you guys is how do you feel that your 11 plus entrances are delayed if any one of you want to participate in that just let me know i can't come other days no please what's that please please today you want to do it today but i don't have if anybody of you can participate today i'll see i need five people to uh, four people to participate if any four of you can send me now that you want to participate i can do it today in the evening or otherwise we can do it next week on a friday so it depends on you guys now i want to so send me emails with your parents lavanya said she wants to come ashmi said she can come at 7 So who wants to come? Ashmi wants to come at seven. I can I cannot. Can you post pronounce my name? Pronouncing my name. What's that? What time is going to be? Ashmi wants it to be at seven o'clock. I think so. I'm on Facebook, so I don't know. How, yes, sir, we are on everywhere. We are on Facebook. We are on this. I need written permission of your parents to tell you that they will let you guys come participate. Then only I'll be able to do it. So let's. You can send me your emails, all of you. so say my name not type what's that oh she's talking to someone else find then six ashmi wants to come at six okay ashmi wants to come we got only one people yes we are finishing now guys you can email me with your parents permission on this 11 plus alt at the gmail.com that's the email address if your parents can give you permission for today in the evening we can do at 6 if you want or next week at 6 but 
but it depends if we get permission from your parents if i don't get more kids today so we'll be doing next week or we can do it next week friday what can we do you need to get permission from your parents and let me know so we'll be stopping now and i'll see you guys back on monday